Hey, what's going on fellow fixers? I'm Jeremy and this is a channel where I show you how to fix stuff. So if that interests you, consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get into today's video. A couple of years ago, I did a video and I will put it up in the description somewhere up here about buying uh, this saw and that table saw for a really good price. And it has worked flawlessly for a couple of years, but just in the last uh, week or so, whenever I use it, it's kind of a dangerous situation. It will stay on. So if you plug this in right now, it's gonna automatically start spinning the blade. And the issue is inside here, there is a bad switch. And I'm gonna pull this apart and show you what I mean. All right, so this saw is a cobalt. It's a 12 inch sliding miter saw. I'm guessing that 0857242 is the model number uh, of this. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. Right here, you're gonna find on the handle, there's two screws right up here at the top. You gotta take those two out, take these four out, and then take this Allen wrench off and this whole piece will come apart. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so once you get all these screws loosened up, taken out you can lift this whole piece off and there is a wire connected right there but i don't even think we need to disconnect that <clears throat> that i believe is for the laser but you can see here exactly what the issue is this switch has gone bad you can see here these wires are fused together so basically what we're going to have to do is replace this switch and I ordered that piece off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. You can go check that out. And then we'll have to clip off these connectors and put new connectors on and possibly uh, cut these lines and put some connectors in here to make these a little bit longer. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, first thing you need to do is take a picture of this so you know which wire goes where. And then we can pull them all off. So these are the parts we're likely going to need. A new switch, again, link in the description. Going to need some new terminal connectors, basically these right here. A couple of those. Shrink wrap, I will probably put shrink wrap around these just to make sure it's a nice uh, tight connection. And then possibly these butt connectors just to make that those wires a little bit longer. And you will need a pair of crimpers, wire splicers. All right, so once you have this done, go ahead and pull this piece off. And you notice it sits on these little uh, tabs right here. So just go ahead and pull it off, and then you can pull these wires off. Got to put the camera down to do that. Now this brown common connector actually looks to be in pretty good condition, so I'm actually not going to swap it out. I am going to swap these two out. You can see here they fused together. So just go ahead and clip them as close to the connectors as you can. Then you want to use these to go ahead and strip back the wire. You don't need to take it back much, just enough. All right, so adding these on is a pretty straightforward process. You just need to twist the wire and slide it on. And you basically want it to come uh, just past this little blue part. Sometimes you have to twist it while you put it on. Hard to do and film at the same time. Let me twist it on. All right, so you can see how I've put it on there. And now I'm gonna do is use my crimpers and just pinch the end of that. And you can see now that I did that, it just pinches that wire down makes a tight connection so now it's just a matter of putting those wires on here and seeing if we have enough length if we don't i might have to extend the gray and the black all right so because these are so close together and you can see on the original the metal is covered with this little rubber coating and i'm worried that this will be so close together these two could touch and we'll have the same issue i'm going to put some of this shrink wrap over the end of that just so that it'll protect that metal part it's a pretty straightforward process you just uh, take some of this and cut it to the right length and slide it over top and then you use a lighter and you just i 
lighter is dead. All right, new lighter. You just basically light it and just go around. You can see here it's shrinking up. This lighter is not very good either. Turn it over. Once you're done, it's going to look something like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do it to this uh, other one right here. All right, so you can see here I've got the new switch in, got the wires attached, and I've got them run through these little channels over here. If I push on this, One thing I don't like about that is the new one is just a little bit shorter than the old one. So you basically have to pull this all the way for it to, to connect. It really would be helpful if this was just a little bit longer. I'm going to put it back together and see what it feels like. All right, moment of truth. We got it all put back together, plugged in. See how it works. Perfect. All right, so listen, fixing things is really not that difficult. You just need to be brave enough to pull things apart, sort of take a look at how they're put together. Almost every component in everything has a part number. I looked up this part number on Amazon and I found the part. And so again, that will be linked in the description below. You can go check that out uh, if you happen to have this saw. Almost anything like this, if you're just willing to take things apart and if they're broken already, what really can you hurt? Uh, don't force things to, to come apart, but just slowly try to figure out how they go together. Maybe you can fix it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. If you, if you haven't seen the video on how I fixed a pressure washer that had no pressure, go check this one out. I'll see you over there.